In this tutorial, we will look at how to create a consumer using a previous made provider of calculations. I expect that you already seen the video introduction number one about how to create a consumer and therefore I will not explain so much during the way in the start, but more look at the, how the consumer is actually using the provider and what will happen when we add the more methods at the provider. So we'll start to open up NetBeans, create a project, and this project will be called Calculator Client. Uh, we also can take a look here at the previous made calculator provider. We made some web services here, and uh, one of the web services was this method. And this is the method I'm going to utilize now. So I start here, new, make a web service client. And this time I will not browse in the visual URL, but I'll browse in the project. There's only one, so that's pretty easy. And I'm going to use calculator.ws for web service. Put it into a package here, just call it calculator client or something else. If I didn't write the name here, then it will actually use it, what the provider is actually using. So I'll just write calculator client and up here we can see that I'm now referring to the local host, this port number 8080, and I'm referring to a whistle file here, calculator.us here. So let's finish this one here. Now I should uh, be ready to Going and use it. So it's some code here. Call a method operation. And the method I want to use is the add operation. Click OK. Like this. And then we can see there's been uh, created a method here named add, of course which on the port here is calling a service from the get calculator port and the service is up here. So this one I can use. Well, of course, I need some. I'm going to say AD. And then I want to print out the result. Like this here. So uh, now I should actually be more or less uh, ready for running. Notice that the Glassfish server is already running. So uh, hopefully this one here has been deployed. We will soon find out. I'll try to run this here. And we can say build failed. Not a big surprise actually. What we have to do is here, we have to go in here, click and build a project. And now, of course, uh, it's correct. What we needed was that we needed to let it know that we actually have built up this web server references here. So that is down here, where we can see I am on 
this port here, I am referring to the method add. And the method add is I'm referring to is the one which is up here in the arm. So, uh, so far, so good. Now, let's look at what it could be if we want to create another method and utilize it in our consumer. Let's see how we can do that. I want to add a new operation here. Let's call it div for short for division. Now the question is of course what we should let it return by this uh, integer division. I see we just say it's an integer division. Say so, okay here. You can see it is made here, ready for use. But if I go down here and try to use it, uh, it will not be known for the moment. I can try to do it. And here you can see that we do not know, it's not provided for us this div, so I'll cancel it. I'll go to and then I will say refresh. And when I refresh, I will replace the local file with the original whistle file located here. So I'll try to do it. And now I can see I actually have the possibility of div here. Click on it, okay. And let's try to print that out too. And again, I can see it failed because I didn't make it correctly. I have to build the project again. And voila, now it has made a division, not so nicely, it's zero here. But it shows you a little bit about when you should go in and refresh and that you should uh, remember always to do is in this order, refresh and after that uh, remember to build it again. In an old version here you would probably have to deploy the project again but that is not necessary for us. Just refresh and replace it and it's fine. So uh, that's about it. You can see the interaction between the web service provider and the web service consumer. You should now go in and add some more method of your own, or maybe change these methods into something more appropriate. Maybe it should not actually return an integer, but maybe it should return a double or something. So uh, next step would actually uh, look a little bit at the exception handling because what will actually happen if we, for example, divide it by zero that we will look at in the next tutorial.